So a couple analysts from credible financial institutions have released reports saying very good words and focusing on the big picture when it comes to NEO and not changing their buy ratings and high price targets despite the drop we have seen. It seems like the market is starting to see the bigger picture when it comes to NEO and the Chinese EV market. I will talk about this bigger picture and I think it is something everyone looking to get into NEO should know about. Also at the moment of recording this video we are up more than 5.5% or above $43. Could this be the start of a new rally being on the way and what are the long term price targets for NEO when considering the big picture? The drop we have seen these past weeks have really started to slow down. It seems like investors really don't like NEO going down below $40 and I understand that people want to buy at those cheap levels in my opinion. But as we all know, usually the market is quite unpredictable in the short term and there are so many factors affecting its movements day to day. But what could have happened today that made the NEO stock go up? The market really seems to listen to the opinions of various analysts. It happened very recently with Tesla and it happened today for NEO. I would personally love it if we could focus on the fundamentals a lot more instead of blindly selling off whenever a stock goes down. But as always we have to wait for an actual professional analyst to come out and explain what they think about NEO or any stock for that matter for us to see it going up. This is probably even a good thing since these guys are after all getting paid to analyze stocks. I'm just an investing enthusiast on the internet. Anyways, in the latest buy report, German bank Deutsche Bank, analyst Edison Yu reiterated his buy rating on NEO in his latest report with a price target of $50 a share. He believes that NEO's move has little to do with plans to replenish their capital but more to take advantage of the current market conditions and create an edge for itself. In Yu's view, NEO doesn't need the money since it had nearly $3 billion in cash reserves at the end of the third quarter. But given the company's stock's cumulative 155% gain over the past 3 months and the generally bullish investor sentiment, the company sees this as a time to act in an opportunistic manner, you said. Although its shares overall have pulled back from recent highs, this may be a reflective opportunity for investors to revisit the stock's investment strategy given the company's valuation and the fact that other new energy vehicle companies are also making significant additions to the report said. Now overall, you said that the competitive landscape in China's electric vehicle industry is intensifying and that NIO's efforts to expand its market shares is appearing to be bearing fruit. Considering the company's growing brand recognition, customer referrals rose to 62% this year from 52% in 2019 and production rising to 75,000 units per month in January, the analyst expects NEO's record sales to continue ahead of the Chinese New Year holiday. Guys, remember that Yu's forecast is in line with most Wall Street analysts. Of the analysts tracking the stock, 7 recommended to buy and 4 recommended a hold, with a consensus rating of moderate buy and an average price target of $49.01. Yu also just gave Xpeng a buy rating on Monday with a $58 price target and he sees Neo, Li Auto and WM Motor and also Xpeng as the big 4 Chinese electric vehicle makers. He thinks they represent an emerging class of automakers backed by large technology companies and local governments looking to disrupt the auto industry. Lastly he said that we believe our thesis has been playing out both on the ground as sales and brand awareness is growing and in the capital markets where all four companies have seen their valuations rise considerably. We also saw another analyst by the way from Daiwa Securities Group, Kelvin Low, initiating coverage of NEO on Monday with another buy rating and a price target of $59. Low thinks NEO is a distinguished pick among the emerging set of upscale electric vehicle makers in China and he sees the company getting to adjusted profitability in 2023 with sales of about 140 
thousand vehicles. For comparison, NIO is on track to sell roughly 43,000 vehicles in 2020, up from 20,565 vehicles in 2019. And guys, this revolution of Chinese electric vehicle makers making more and more progress and starting to really threaten the other car makers is the big picture that investors are starting to see. I think every investor considering to get into NIO needs to know just how fast China is growing from a pure economic standpoint, first of all. Combine the fact that China is the fastest growing middle class in the entire world right now with the fact that they are now focusing on and accelerating the development of their new energy and you start to understand just how much potential the Chinese electric vehicle stocks have. Recently, NIO also signed a deal with State Grid Electric Vehicle Service Company, I talked about this yesterday, as a part of Chinese massive state-owned utility. The plans are modest to jointly build only about 100 charging and EV service stations in 2021, but these plans show that NIO is doing what all successful Chinese stocks must do which is to win favor with state-owned allies to continue growing its business and squeezing out their competitors. So with this economic and technological revolution in mind, how far can the NEO share price go in the future if they can keep staying ahead in the race of the Chinese EV companies? I think they can go very far and I would not be surprised if we saw even 200 to $300 per share in many many years time, say 5 years time. Now I love to diversify when it comes to these companies since I am confident that one of these Chinese electric vehicle companies are bound to succeed and reach a massive massive market cap. And that's why I own Xping as well and also why I'm currently researching Li Auto to decide if I want to buy some stock in that company too. Now regardless of how bullish I am on this stock though, make sure to do your own research and make your own decision before going out and investing your actual money into the stock market. I'm not a financial advisor and this video is definitely not financial advice. And with that, I want to conclude today's video. As always, if you enjoyed this one, giving it a like would help me out tremendously, helps the video reach out to more people, and help the channel grow, it's simply the best way you can support me. And also, if you enjoyed the content and if you watched all the way to this point, why not subscribe to the channel and join us in this journey to 10,000 investors by the end of this year. We're so close to getting there and yeah, I just love all your support, very appreciative of it. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.